Alright, so let's see. Well, we've got some kind of theme going up. Hopefully it looks good. Ooh, I have an excellent connection. Look at that. Although, uh, at least from where I'm sitting, it does look like it is... Uh, oh, no, 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 come back. Don't fade out on me now. All right, so let's see, uh, let's see how we look live. I think we're looking pretty okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send out this link to a couple of folks so I can share it with, with my sweet pals. And uh, hopefully not have it playing in the background because that would be obnoxious. There we go. Send it out to the old discordant discord. We'll share wide. And by sharing wide, I mean I'm DMing a couple of people at the moment. Ooh. All right. Well, I think that we're, uh, we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna try and make sure that my uh, comments are working. Comment section. That's right. I've got one of them really loud, clicky clacky keyboards. I'm gonna raise my mic volume just a little bit. There we go. All right. So cool. It's the first time using. Uh, OBS Live, so hopefully it uh, treats me good. <laughs> hello, hello. All right. Oh, I can put stuff on the top. I can put stuff on the bottom. Really loving what OBS brings to the table as far as a uh, nice modular setup. Hello, hello. I've got on low latency. Let's so let's see let's see what uh what that turns out to be. So uh, yeah, how am I sounding? How am I looking? There's only so much I can do about the ladder, but I can make myself louder at the very least. I'm gonna go ahead and close some tabs here so I can save me the RAM usage. Yeah, I guess it's uh, it's looking good so far, so I'm just going to, to continue right along. Uh, today we're playing Monster Hunter Rise. It's uh, completely taken over my life. Um, nothing else matters or exists as far as I'm concerned. And uh, every day at 5 p.m. once work is all done, it's pretty much this between uh, partner my friends and I. Good to hear it. Uh, so um, what I've decided to do is I'm actually going to start a fresh character. Um, I have one already. Uh, I don't know if it's going to jump automatically in, but uh, yeah, so this is um, Tabuela. Uh, <laughs> playtime does say 100 hours. Uh, that might actually be genuine playtime. It may also very well be, um, you know, including when I was paused or have it on sleep. I don't know. You know what? If it is 100 hours, I don't mind because it was uh, 100 hours well spent between uh, me, my friends, and the, the terrible huge monsters that we fought together. Um, because I'm a stickler for it, I'm gonna come in here and mess with brightness. We're all good. Language, text is English, voice is Monster Hunter language, as God intended. All right, let's uh, let's start a new game and I'll mute myself during uh, during story time here. JK, there's no story time. It's time uh, to to make a monster hunter. So uh, for my last character, I went with type one, which uh, you now presenting, but we're gonna go with type two this time around. I do have to say that they did such a good job um, as far as blending a semi-realistic, like human character presentation with what's otherwise a really 
don't know if the word is cartoony. It's a very surreal world that they offer. Um, so let's see here. I mean, I don't know why I'm bothering to get so choosy about the, the pre-made characters, because I'm going to go in there and change everything anyway. All right, so change face type, hairstyle, and age from a selection of presets. Uh, random. Okay. I don't hate it. I do tend to go for uh, silver hair more often than not. Age is 50 compared to what? Um, wait, wait. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. What is what is age zero? Uh, so so freshly born bib uh, versus 100. Actually, that's not terrible. I I can only hope to look that good at 100. Um, but let's go with their idea of not middle age, but instead uh, three quarter aged. I like a little bit of uh, maturity to our to our hunter here. Advanced settings. So face shape. Let's see. Can I zoom out and aim again? Time? Yes, I can. But we're going to zoom way in because we're focused on this cheek size. The last time I did this, I didn't remember there being very like dramatic changes between one end of the slider and another. Okay, cool. I can look up and down a little bit. Chin length. What are we talking length here? All right, so a bit of a, a bit of a jut. Chin position. Left. Oh, okay. No, never mind. That's like up and down. This is going to be the whole stream, folks. From now until I end up going to bed, uh, we're basically going to be just creating our new character. Jaw width. This jaw presented in widescreen. That's not very. I've seen wider personally. All right. So skin tone. I think we're looking fine. Let's see. Oh, oh, I'm changing lighting. I forgot about that little little fancy feature. So let's see if we're gonna have some like dramatic noir lighting. I think I can change the environment too. Yeah. <laughs> Lava chic, yes? All right. So, let's pick our, I think I pick color palette. Oh, D-pad, okay. All right, I'm liking that. Move back, we got age muscle definition. Let's see what that, that really does. Fully, de fully undefined versus defined. I'm not sure what that's changing. Not much of anything. Although I, I did see a video recently. Hello, welcome. Got uh, more folks coming in to tune in. Uh, we were just talking about muscle definition. Um, I saw a video recently that was talking about uh, just generally the like, visual language and tone of Monster Hunter. And it's definitely one that's um, very light and whimsical, and another thing that they noted was that the hunters themselves don't really have, like, again, looking at muscle tone, even at its max, you're not looking at, uh, your kind of Marvel superhero sort of, um, body aesthetic. Just fit people who hunt monsters for survival. Isn't that what life is, life is all about? Alright, hairstyles. We'll be here for the next, uh, two and a half hours. Not really. Oof. Hmm. Tend to like, wow, they've even got some dynamic fro physics. I love it. After coming off of World, there's so many things that I appreciate uh, about Monster Hunter rise and among them is just how much they were able to accomplish with the switch which is for all intents and purposes like an old cell phone as far as its power is concerned then on to palico customizing yes absolutely um the second most important well i don't know it might be the, the most important part of uh customizing our our hunters here 
because uh, now there's Palamutes. Now there's there's Pally Pups. Um, oh my gosh, uh, a friend of mine actually has the ponytails. I'm really appreciating how dynamic they are. Woo! I could do that all day. Maybe that'll be the stream, actually. Thick ponytail. Mmm. All right, that that might actually be it. Is is giant ponytail? Yep. All right. Happy with it. Color again. Uh, that kind of kind of silvery really does it for me. Oh, I can almost make it glow. I'm a Witcher. <laughs> yeah, why not? We'll be a little bit of. Uh, well. But a, but a tasteful silver rather than bright, blinding white, huh? And as far as our brows, I think I think we're looking pretty strong. Or gone, burned off by by a, a Rathalos. That'll be a good story, right? That's okay. Maybe canonically they they were burned off, but then I, I drew them back on later, using the ashes of that Ra Raytheon's body. Um, let's see. I'm liking how we're looking right there. Yeah, why not? Brow depth, width, position. I'm second guessing myself on brows now, y'all. They kind of uh, tend toward this, like angled inward position, which I guess is fair if you're rather firm in your monster hunting ways. Brow depth. Oh, oh, that's like that kind of depth and width. There we go. Gone from Concerned to a bit more curious? Eh, I don't know. I gotta think about it too much. Even though it's exactly what I'm doing. All right, so eyelids. Whoa, am I surprised? Or am I? <laughs> I sleep. Uh, I, I like to be a little wide-eyed. I feel like the Monster Hunter uh, world inspires just that. Lower eyelids. Hmm. Hmm. It seems like I'm not going to take anybody at face value. There we go. Fine enough. It, enough uh, skepticism built in there. There we go. Eye depth. That's good by me. And width. Honestly, pretty, pretty subtle sliders going from 0 to 100. It doesn't quite feel like going 0 to 100, maybe like 50 to 60, but that's okay. It, it ends up working really well because these faces end up being beautifully animated. Um, not that your character speaks. Well, actually, no, your character does speak a bunch, but the animation all comes down to chewing on all that bunny dango. Oh, eye size. Change both eyes. Yeah, why not? Hmm. hmm. What do we think? I kind of like my own sort of green, hazily treatment. So I'm going to see if I can accomplish that here today. And we'll go down to hue. Yeah. Onto the schnoz. Nose height. Again, what are we looking at as far as... Oh, okay. Well, that's more like... How would I describe it? Not nose height. Maybe nose... Nose out! And nose position. I'm digging it. Bridge height. There's like a button. Alright, let's see here. Like that. Bridge width. 
I think we're looking pretty good. <laughs> Hello and welcome. We've got some more people rolling in. Lovely to have you all. I'm trying my darndest to uh, pay attention to uh, to chat and everybody who's been kind enough to uh, come in. I'm realizing that I have the ability to moderate and show and hide potentially problematic chat messages. One being a cat... Is that a cat emoji? No, I think it's a... a platypus? No. Mole? No. Think of other woodland creatures. Makes dams. Beaver. There you go. It was a beaver. Which uh, YouTube flagged as potentially problematic. Um, yeah, sure, if you think that way, I guess. But I'll allow it. It's been approved. We're, we're beaver safe here. All right. As for mouth, I'm kind of liking where we are with our with our mouths today. So I might not change it all that much, to be quite honest. Position. Fine by me, mouth corners position. Oh, it could be kind of a resting smiley face, resting concern face. Nice neutral, how about that? All right. Facial hair. I love, love that you can still option facial hair despite the uh, cleverly worded body type is, is how they define it rather than just doing like outright gender. But for this character, we'll be uh, clean shaven for maximum aerodynamics. All right, makeup. This gets fun because, and I don't know if you know this. Let's start off here. You can pick your makeup, it's a default, very rosy red color, you can change position, yada yada yada, but what I'm really interested in is this luminous value, where you can literally make it glow, and just be a magical glowing bastard the whole way out. Oof, I am, I feel compelled to do that. Uh, maybe not this color though. You are welcome to make suggestions in chat, uh, but it is very likely that I won't follow them. They'll purely be for, uh, you know, your own satisfaction. Um, that original kind of fiery red does call, but I might not do luminosity. It's, uh, dang, that's not even to 40 or what have you. <sighs> nah, I don't want to make that kind of impression. Can make it a bit metallic and give it a bit of gloss. All right, let's see. Luckily, this can be changed at any time, which I appreciate, because I actually, I've made matching makeup for uh, my my other character, where it actually had like full uh, geisha makeup. But I think what I'll do this time around for her, there we go. Okay, I kind of like that descending because I don't want to call away from my the brows that I so painstakingly chose. Hmm. I like the black for a bit of contrast with the hair. Love it. And you know, we'll we'll that's enough for now. I'm sure I'll come back and... No, wait, back to makeup. I've got... I can match lipstick, maybe. Or not even match, but... I'm just opting lipstick at this point. Let's see. It's a bit of a... Hmm. Should we go black once more? All of the gray? The gray's not bad, either. Why not? Let's start here and see how we feel. Uh, we can't change much else, but at least for makeup, maybe hair, uh, we can change the rest later. Let's see how we look in different lighting situations. Fabulous is what I think. Clothing. Uh, this is where we can set our underoos for the rest of our adventure. So rarely will these be seen unless you decide to go out in your skivvies, which, uh, I'll prefer minimal. It's basically uh, the way that the original Tomb Raider would probably go 
in frigid weather if I am remembering the original Tomb Raider right. Alright. Voice. Yes. Oh man, I'm, I'm actually sad that at least for this section we're doing English or er, uh, Monster Hunter language, which is, as my friend describes it, kind of a Japanese simlish. But uh, the, the English uh, voice callouts for these characters, I think, are hilarious. I had a, kind of a blustery British bloke uh, for my first character that would go around uh, saying things like, Daddy needs a new pair of boots! Um, every time you would carve up a monster. But uh, that's okay. We'll go by uh, whatever voice types are available here. Wait. Duffy! What's nice is that, again, uh, whichever vocal or whichever body type you choose, they still give you the full breadth of uh, voice options between, you know, what would typically be considered, you know, male to female. Oh. <laughs> All the way from your very high octave uh, anime voices. It sounded like doggy, which I would call after a doggy. Let's see. <laughs> That's already a, a strong impression right there. Yep, that, that one's literally speaking to me. Uh, action samples, we got our are these poses. <laughs> oh, okay, so you can hear hear what they sound like in different uh, circumstances. Good. Expression samples, what do we got? <laughs> Joy. Anger. Yeah. Pain. Oh wow, that's like really inside pain, not like I have a gushing wound pain. <laughs> well, I'm delighted just looking at it. Alright, so I think that uh, we, we done done it. I'll save this character in the character bank in case I decide to resurrect them. And, uh, yeah, feel, feeling pretty good. Let's confirm. We are creating a character with these settings, and we're gonna name them. Please refrain from using content that is illegal, offensive, personal, or that could infringe upon others' rights. Hmm. Everyone, I'd like you to meet Pascal. Pascal, everyone, everyone, Pascal. Yeah, the name's okay, it's great. Here we go, our, our Palamute. Um, this is our, our puppy friend, whom also serves as our mount. A noble steed of a dog. Oh my, I actually do kind of like the tiger stripe approach. <laughs> we have an Okami vibe coming off there. I kind of, yeah. You know, Let's see what we can do with this with this tiger stripe here, because uh, the last time I actually did make my dog, um, Gwen, and actually what was wonderful about that is that she's a uh, cocker spaniel, so they have lovely floppy ears uh, to match. They're all good boys and girls. I I absolutely agree. Um, oh man, it's hard to choose. Let's see. I can't help but go for for ears that have a little bit of a uh, little sag to them. All right, so tails. Let's see here. A great big bushy tail. All right, let's see. I actually do kind of like that. Either the last tail or yeah, I'm falling for that curl. Let's do it. Cl <laughs> clothing. Um, oh, okay, it's just clothing, clothing color. I, I expected outfits. 
Um, but that's okay, because outfits will come. That's what you hunt monsters for, is, is not for glory, uh, to a lesser extent food, you hunt them for fashion. I do kind of like that rosy red, and besides we can always come back. A voice, dog voice, yes. All right. Dog armor DLC. <laughs> uh, you know, that's not an impossible... Wait, actually, I think that they might have had some uh, purchasable dog armor. It's very possible that I purchased that dog armor. Um, although I don't remember exactly what it looks like because it's been replaced since then. Oh, no, no. It's a... Um, it's like a cosmetic... Uh, dog skin so that your dog looks like I, I actually don't remember what they what this particular kind of dog is called but I'll show you later and you'll you'll see lovely dog armor DLC <laughs> all right let's see here we got we got to talk about this coat because I'm liking the patterning so far yeah yeah but these colors, hmm, these colors, I don't know about that. Let's, let's start on the stripes, because that's what's getting me right now. Oh, wow, I'm totally having this moment where it's like, wait, is the dark blue the stripes, or is the light blue? They make them together. That's how stripes work. Hmm. You know, what's funny is that this is going to get all covered up in armor down the road anyway, but I'm, I'm going to sweat it. All the same. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to go just like straight up fantasy puppy here. Part three. Oh, I'm just realizing that it's highlighting it in the UI, like which ones it's going to change. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think for our snoot, we can start off with something that's a little bit more, uh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. And those glorious eyes. See, I just needed an angle to, to really understand the good I was doing here. Oh, okay, fur color. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can match there. I don't know. These eyes are kind of perfect right off the bat. <gasps> Although you can change... Oh, wait. Eye type. <laughs> I do love that. Now, th I did see the scarred one. You can, like, hire other dogs and, and cats. The meowcenaries. Um, and I saw one with a scarred eye, and I was like, wow, that's that tells a story, huh? Oh, my no one's just a little baby. But I, I kind of like the battle-hardened uh, pup. Was my fault though. All right, so right eye is the one that I can change. I don't know. This color's kind of perfect in in my eyes, in their eyes. Yeah, the right ones, what I want to change. Although the blue looks pretty nice too. There's that deep purple. Either way, it's a good boy. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think where we started actually was, was pretty perfect, so I'm going to leave it just the way it was, except of course for one huge eye scar. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a puppy face. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like the... Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. And we'll have a scar-dyed puppy come along later in life. Uh, yeah, all right, so I think we're, we're looking good with our, with our uh, fashion-forward uh, puppy. The fashion being whatever I, I darn so choose. Ooh, dang, the Palamute's name. All right, uh, I hope everybody's ready to be here for another half hour. Okay. Um. Hmm.
I don't know why, but POTS comes to mind. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's just where my heart where my heart is. I, I, your, your name is Potts. All right. Yes, the name is okay. It's perfect. You're perfect. All right. Now on to the, the Palico, arguably the, the most important um, ar argue in chat. Which one is more important, the Palamute or the Palico? Uh, I'm going to work on this in the meantime. All right, so our, our pattern... Hmm. Let's start here. And oh, okay. Actually, I kind of like I kind of like where that's headed. But let's see. Just how dark can we make that that black fur? Eh, eh. Relatively. And then our, our part one. I don't really see them as having to be like a complimentary pair. So I'm not thinking too much about how the Palamede's gonna kind of look or feel next to him. Um, hmm. What if we try that but with a different pattern? Oh. Whoa. Actually, I'm kind of liking, kind of liking what's going on here. Oh, we can get a little bit of a, a, a leopard motif here, huh? Should have had more of an orange. Well, that's why our custom hues are here. Let's see what we can do about getting a bit more of an orange down there. And then we'll make the other bits black, right? Is that how leopards work? I don't know. I don't know. And yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm liking. I'm liking how things are looking. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh. Look at that. Perfection. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's speaking to me. What am I trying to do here? Why am I trying to mess with perfection? Because greater perfection exists is why I'm trying to mess with perfection. All right, here we go. You fantasy candy-looking cat. All right, let's talk about these eyes. <laughs> Woo! I sleep. Yeah. Default eye is fine. Alright, so how do we give you eyes that are really going to stick out? How do we make them the windows to your soul? It doesn't matter, because they always will be. I mean, look at them. So if anybody doesn't have any uh, previous experience with Monster Hunter, or has no idea what I'm doing, uh, Feel free to, to ask away. I will try my darndest to explain what in Pooh Perfect Heck is going on here. Um, but honestly, considering the fact that I'm creating my own fantasy cat, I feel like if you're not in it now, I don't know what I can do for you. Um... <laughs> oh! Hmm... Looks like a teddy bear. I'm liking, yeah, those 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 default ears. They got me. All right, tail here. Let's go. 
<laughs> Ooh, I'm pretty drawn to that that poofy tail. And clothing. Okay, again, you're just picking a single color, at least for, for the time being. Let's make it uh, either white or black, because I don't want to call away from that uh, perfect coat. Can we make it brighter? Darker? Oh! Hmm. Hmm. We'll go black. That's fine. <laughs> we could be here all day. And we will. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that's done it for me. Old cat meow sounds are, are what's being requested right now. <laughs> so, old cat, that does sound quite old cat. Mm-hmm. And how do you... <laughs> that's the greeting. That's that's how you know that they're happy to, to see you. Alright, so... <laughs> Alright, just because that one got a good... Got a good giggle out of me. We'll go with uh, with that there. Hmm, so last time I went with healer. Let's see what these do. So healer is a support type. Uh, these these kittens help you out in, in battle. Uh, that focuses on recovery moves. Uses healing to keep hunters in tip-top fighting shape. Uh, assist, places traps to weaken monsters and sets up advantageous situations. Uh, <laughs> this is just the beginning. A uh, fight can become fur furious, boosting its own attack and making it a fantastic fighting furball. Bombardier, a support type with a penchant for blowing things up, has high explosive power and can handle large bombs. Well, somebody needs to. And uh, Gathering, highly suited to pilfering items and collecting quality materials. I think a friend of mine right now is using Bombardier and at some point they can basically launch a cat nuke. That in mind, I, I think that uh, we're, we're taking our bombardier into battle. Uh, all settings. Alright, uh, fine. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be creating a palico with uh, these settings. Oh, your name. I always forget that I'm going to be, be stuck here. Um, let's see. Hmm. Dang, does anybody remember the name of uh, the demo guy from the Atlantis animated film? I wonder if that would have an appropriate name for, uh, for this. I'm going to look it up real quick. Atlantis... Was it a Disney movie? I think so. Yeah, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Starring Michael J. Fox. Alright, cast and crew. V Vinny? Was it Vinny? We're gonna have to double check. Alright. Vinny from Atlantis. I think that's the one that was the, the demo dude. Yes, yes it is. Yep, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I was about to type on my keyboard, Vinny. But yeah, so, uh...
my Palico Vinny. No data? Well, we'll change that. Yes, please do save. I dare you. All right, look at us all ready for battle. Oh my god. All right, if it's going to be story time, I'm, I'm going to... Well, I'll just try not to speak too much over it is, is what I'll lean toward because I might have I might have an emotional response that, that needs sharing. Yes. <laughs> All day I dream about monster hunting. Not a terrible way to wake up. No, we. No, except for that. <laughs> I was totally put off and spooked by these two. I mean, how could you not, given this introduction? <laughs> But they get way more endearing over time, promise. We should really shut that door when we go to sleep, guys. I love my fantasy crew. This is looking good so far. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Ah. Oh, my heart swells. Everything about this, uh, I absolutely love, but... The look, the lighting, the music. Oof. The tuna. <laughs> the owls, which are called cohoots. Flashback! An inky flashback. Tasma do Duke. Ami eatas. Tasma do Mido. Rane hot dirik. Kamura shik kefido. Uruliko. Luda tito ponchi. So she luku. Not another one of your stories, old man. That's all he does, is just sit up there at the top of the stairs and tell old stories. Being old. Hit my mic ever so much so that it's not all plosives whenever I just go, puh! Alright. 
Now, Pascal, Rampage and all aside, I've got news for you. I could try and do a character voice like his. Got a message from the guild this morning. It says that you are now a certified hunter. You're really living now, Squirt. Ooh. Well, I guess I shouldn't call you that now that you're certified, but don't think it'll stop me. -ha -ha -ha. I would actually laugh, but it would blow out your eardrums. Sorry to interrupt, Elder Fugan. I've informed the village of the coming rampage like you asked. Ah, yes, thank you. Inevitably, I'm going to mix these characters up and Hinua or Minota here, whatever her name is, is going to sound like the Elder. <laughs> By the way, Pascal, I overheard the good news. You're finally an official hunter. Wow. Congratulations. All you need to do now is register with the guild so you can start accepting all those quests. Yes. To do that, you need to speak with Master Hojo in the Gathering Hub. But that can wait. First, we go shopping. Yes. You'll be needing the help of other villagers if you want to succeed on the field, so follow me. Now, where should we start? I don't know, but I feel like I'm being suggested in one specific direction. Of course, the marketeer of mystery, Kagero the Merchant. Oh, so here's what we're going to do. Is I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the tutorials because I oh no I can't do options yet son of a biscuit anyway, maybe right, I, know how to, I know how to move I know how to dash oh you're gonna do this to me huh there is a way to turn off uh... anyways greetings master Pascal I was just informed that you've been accepted into the guild Felicitations. <laughs> uh, sound off if you use felicitations in conversation. Here you'll find restorative cures and other such items to aid you on your hunts. I often diversify my stock and provide special offers for hunters too. I think you'll find them most agreeable. Kagero sometimes... Kagero? Kagero sometimes offers items at half price and that's when you can pick up some real bargains. I always hold off on buying what I want until the sale, and when it's on, I swoop in like a Raytheon on the trail. I've often sensed Lady Hinoa's sharp gaze upon my back. Now I know why. <laughs> anyway, Kagura, about those items I asked you to set aside for me? Of course, I'll have them packaged and sent to you at your convenience. The funny thing is, is that at any given time, she is no more than like 15 feet away from him. I'll show you where. Then that's a wrap. Let's see, where should we go next? Steadfast as steel, Master Hamon the blacksmith. It'd be nice to pay him a visit. I know how to move. Please let me... No, I can't go to the options yet. But yeah, uh, so... Which one is she? She is Hinoa. Yeah, she's here all day long on this little red bench, so it's funny that... Yeah, I guess her delivery costs are probably pretty low. Micromanaging him. I'm on the blacksmith. Alright, so this guy's pretty, pretty crotchety. Um, I'm on the blacksmith. Hinoa, what is it? You can see I'm busy here preparing for the rampage. Now, now, Mr. Hamon, this time I've come to tell you the good news. What did she do other times? Yes. Probably micromanaging. Um, Pascal's been accepted into the Hunter's Guild. The village now has a resident hunter we can all count on. Isn't that great? Hmm, I see. Well then, Pascal, allow me to congratulate you. The equipment we forge here is what makes a hunter in part and can make or break a hunt. It's what represents our village, too. A hunter who can't wield Tatara steel isn't fit to fly the banner of Kimura. You'll find whatever you need here. As for crafting and refining gear, well, we can talk about that later. Oh, since we're here, that reminds me. You can hire buddies at the Buddy Plaza up ahead, and oh my god, am I excited for the Buddy Plaza. And Master Hamon's grandson, Iori, manages the place. Why don't you go talk to him later? Ugh, capering around with felines and canines makes me wonder where I went wrong. Really? I think buddy handling is quite a noble profession, personally. Anyway, Master Hamon, I was wondering if my order was ready yet? It is. One of my apprentices will deliver it to you later. Okay, just one more stop and we're done. Let's see. Sweeter than sweet dango, it's got to be Yamogi the chef's tea shop. 
Ah, the wire bug. Uh, so this game, despite not being Spider-Man, can make you really feel like Spider-Man. Because you have a wire bug. It's wonderful. I think every game should have a wire bug. Alright. Now, do I have any agency over my body and options? No, I do not. Alright. Uh, we'll go over and meet the Dango folks. Nothing wrong with that, though, because they're going to be an absolute delight from here on in. Oh, Pascal! Hey, I heard the good news. You're a certified hunter now, recognized by the guild and everything. Congrats! Before you head out on a hunt, make sure you stop by and eat some bunny Dango. Oh, I will. You'll never taste anything yummier in your life. And they'll get your juices flowing for a hunt. Yamogi's Bunny Dango really are yummy. So yummy, in fact, I can't stop eating them on the job. Oh, just thinking about them gets me all excited and... <clears throat> Yamogi, the usual, please and thank you. I love that she just happens to be running errands during this tour anyway. Of course, you know what? One Super Duper Mega Dango order coming right up. Pascal, I had a great time on our shopping trip. Me too. Thanks for accompanying me. I have the things I ordered from Master Amon and Kagro delivered to your item box. Surprise! It's just a little something for me to celebrate you becoming a hunter. Come back when you're done with your registration thingy, okay? Huh? What about the bunny dango? Sorry, those are all mine. I'd share, but a girl's gotta eat. <laughs> hey, you should equip a weapon already. I want to see what you look like in your full hunter getup. Great idea. How about you try on that long sword I just got you? So cool. That gear really suits you, Pascal. You must feel a ton braver now, right? Ride that high over to the Gathering Hub and get yourself registered as a hunter. Once you talk to Master Hojo and get registered, you can start going out on real live hunts as a real live hunter of Kimura. Exciting! I have to wait here for my order, so off you go. I'll be in my usual spot. Come see me when you're done. Alright, so, can I... No, I still cannot turn off tutorial messages, so you will weather them with me. Uh, among many things to love uh, about this place is just Kamura the town itself, which really is its own... Uh, character. Shiratama the tea dealer. Yes, the cats talk. Heave, meow, heave, meow, pound in those bunny dango. You'll see what bunny dango are a little later. Meow ho, meow ho, oh heave ho, pound in those bunny tango. Shika the poet. Shh, don't say anything. I'm this close to coming up with a beautiful verse. Aren't you shopping with Hinoa? Hello, rude. Don't keep her waiting. How about novice hunter Taishi? He is eight. Oh, Pascal, how are you? Mm, I'm actually getting some lunch or grub right now. You should go on shopping with Noah. Alright, so nobody wants to talk to me. They're using any excuse. Aren't you busy? Don't you be doing something else? Yes, I'll go get registered. Alright. I forgot that every place you go to gets a beautiful introduction like this. Hey. <laughs> There's so much to take in just here, but we're just gonna take it in stride. Well, hello there, Pascal. You sure took forever to get here. I thought I was gonna croak. You're probably well aware that I, Hojo, am the guild master of the exceptional gathering hub. What's that? Your guild registration? Oh yes, well, I was getting to it to it before you interrupted me. Had you let me finish, I would have told you that you were, that we no longer do things that way. Get with it, with it, young hunter. <laughs> no test to take or papers to stamp, just my okay and you're on your way. And with that, you are now officially a hunter. It looks like my audio is kind of hot. Uh, so I'm going to turn my mic down, down. Here we go. 
That should be better. Let me know if it's ever too loud. My god, I wouldn't want to hear too much of me. A hunter of Kamur village. Accept a quest from our dearest Minoto and go hunt some monsters. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's how he sounds. About that, as much as I'd like to, I have to get this report about the rampage ready for the guild. I'm terribly sorry, but could you talk to Hinoa first so she can explain quests to you? Yo, Ace! I just heard the gnarly news. Actually, he he kind of has a bit of a surfer vibe. Oh, I just heard the gnarly news. Awesome! Before you run off to see Hinoa, pop over here for a sec. I gotta check you out in your new threads. Okay. Looking good, Ace. Grats on becoming a hunter. All that hard work finally paid off. I'm really happy for you. Oh, and before I forget, I gotta tell you about the action bar. And no, it is not, uh, you know, like a, a place where you can grab a exciting drink. The action bar lets you pull off all sorts of actions without opening any menus. Pretty gnarly, if you ask me. Let's try it out. Select the camera from the action bar and snap a picture of me. Once you take my picture, let me see it. I know how to take a picture, thank you very much. All right. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm a little short there. All right. Uh, let's see, how can I make this as just not uh, flattering as possible? Oh, oh God, I hope this counts. Yeah, sure, I'll take a picture of you. <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah, that's one handsome devil ho. Devil ho? Eh. Ha! <laughs> now that you've got acquainted with the action bar, I think it's quest time. I love that he, he loves the picture just as much as I do. Great. But if you're still not confident in your abilities, you can hit me up in the training area to sharpen them up. It's just a short boat ride from the Buddy Plaza where Iori and all his funnery friends hang out. They're not furries, they're, they're friends who happen to be furries. Uh, you can try your hand at all sorts of weapons and skills there. It's a great place to warm up before a big hunt. All right, I'll quit holding you up. Hinoa's still waiting for you, isn't she? Bye, Yutsushi. I'll see you never. He's fine. All right, here we go. So, game settings. Tutorial windows. Don't display. Uh, targeting window. Let's see here. I'm just going to make sure we don't get too many pop-ups. I think we're looking good, y'all. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. We're looking great. You're looking great. Uh, talk to the quest mate and happily. Ride a palamute if you want to move like the wind, or like someone riding a giant dog. Uh... Oh, Pascal. Already completed your hunter registration? Great. Yeah, it's way easier than it used to be. I retrieved your Kohoot from Elder Fugin earlier. It's so cute, you're gonna love it. I know I will. Kohoots, like buddies, will help you out during quests, but in their own little way. Kohoots are creatures that are beloved throughout Kamura. The village elder gave you a Kohoot to look after as a pet. If you call your Kohoot from your action bar, it will come and perch on your arm, just like real life. Well, how about you give your further feathery friend a name? Yes. Everything about this game is perfect. Uh, enter a name for your Kohoot. It will certainly not be Kohoot. Um, I don't know why, it's in my heart, but you're Wilbur. Hello Wilbur. Bye bye Wilbur. Anyway, since my sister is swamped at the moment, I'll go ahead and give you the quest rundown instead. Now that you're a hunter, you'll be in charge of completing the quests that me and Minoto have in our quest lists. Some of these quests, called Key Quests, have been specially posted by the Hunter's Guild, so if you make a point of completing Key Quests, the Hunter's Guild will take note. Oh, and one last thing. Here, take this Petalace Minoto and I made. As you may be aware, Petalaces are protection charms woven from a local plant called Ascending Sprig. Pollen carried by spirit birds will enhance your Petalace, strengthening your abilities. Treat it with care. I realize that that was a whole lot of noun soup, but basically what it means is that I can uh, 
collect little feathery friends that make me feel good. Oh, I think Minoto should be wrapping up her report right about now, and I need to get back to work myself. Once you're ready, you can start taking quests from either of us. Senri the Mailman says, Hold on, you can't go purr and sing off before my introduction. Pascal, meow lo, and grats on becoming a hunter. If you ever find yourself taking a hub quest, then I, Senri the Mailman, have quite the important info for you. You'll need to go through me to meet up with fellow hunters. Make sure to stop by. Oh, no, no cat puns in that one? All right. <laughs> well, I think that about wraps everything up. Time to start monster hunting. I agree. All right. It's very important. What is Henry the Mailman? Yellow there, Pascal. Been waiting on you. Got some info that's vital. No, crucial. No, paramount. <laughs> uh, were you just about to hit up the gathering hub so you can get a hunting party together? Yeah, about that. Got some bad news for you. You see, when the rampage is near, it's forbidden for hunters to leave Kamara. And outside hunters won't be able to enter either. In other words, Kamara is offline. But if you want to form a party, I have a special type of message I can send to get hunters to hightail it here. If I send the message, Kamara will be online and hunters will be able to enter. Just want to ask me how it works. I wasn't going to. I couldn't understand it myself. Something to do with spider webs. <laughs> Any Mew, come to me whenever you want to swap between offline and online. By the way, did you talk to Minoto about online quests yet? If you haven't, better get your tail and gear so you can go hunting with all your friends. Ah, uh, it never ends, and nor should it. Alright, so I'm just gonna speed through some of this. I think we've learned everything that we need to. I'm going to get my lovely... How do I accept all? There we go. My online content. Alright. What wonderful weather. Agreed. Hello there, Pascal. Ready to get into some quests? Yes, I am. Well, you have great timing because a quest just came in for you. Master Tsushi has called for you. Looks like it's time for some basic training. He was so pumped up about being a real instructor, he kept going on and on about being ready to thrash. And it seems Elder Fugan may have had a hand in it as well, although I was told to keep that part a secret. Yes? I suspect they've been racking their brains to think of a way to help your hunting career. No, oh, sweet. I've added Utsushi's request to the quest list. Accept it whenever you're ready, but make sure you are ready first, okay? When you are, just head through the quest gate to begin. Where's that? I'm guessing it's over here. All right. Now let's dive into the quest list. Oh, there's one that's urgent. Calls for my attention. Straight away. Uh, back to basics. Good enough for me. Oh, can I eat some dango before I go? Can we, uh partake in something so beautiful. Yes. Yes, we can. All right, everyone. Strap in. Uh, so Dango is basically you just getting the calories you need before uh, going on a very high calorie burning trip to hunt giant monsters. And they give you all kinds of, you know, lovely little uh, additive bonuses, but no need to worry about all that. What's very important is what comes next. Thank you very much. Everything about this is perfect and beautiful. It should never change. I couldn't imagine a, a world without it. May that song be forever stuck in your head in its in its simlish language. All right, that's enough dilly dallying, but never enough dilly dangling. Let's depart. Yo, Ace, a hunter's never too good to go over the basics. That's why I've got a quest for you where you'll revisit all the hunting fundamentals. I'll be waiting for you at the Shrine Ruins. See you there. I've really come to appreciate the flavor text that comes up over there. Sanctuary abandoned by the gods. Shrine Ruins. 
chiama Boda su e cuono libero ran faro mi ram so rali muzem gosro tesmi like kabuki theater style intros for environments monsters this is perfect come over here and we'll get started all right i'm gonna spare y'all uh his instructive speech and just try to skip past it as fast as possible because you can learn this on your own time if you feel so compelled i know i know it's been about 100 hours now i know we What are you are you kid I'm here in the middle of this fun having slide down a hill And you give me a tutorial oh, I'll pick up some herb fine You know what actually here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go back to the top of this hill and complete my slide in earnest because that that was robbed from me the joy and the pleasure huh. Supply box this is where they pack uh, your your Gogurt and Slim Jims to take on your trip. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it even bigger this time. I'm gonna go tubing down the stream. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm here to hang. Hey up here. Let's talk wire bugs. Oh, we're already well acquainted. Acquainted? Yes, acquainted. Dash up, dash down, dash left, right, all around. All right. For some reason, he makes you ride his Palamute, his dog. Which, fine, I get it, you know. Banana seems fun and all. I don't know if their name's Banana, but they are in my heart. I'm dashing. Right along. I wanna I wanna play with Aye. my pets though. Got you, mm -hmm. These are the birds that you can make friends with. Let let's just allow them to, to cycle through that little bird animation on, on the left side right there, because it's fantastic. They're absolutely engorged with helpful juices for you. So, let's relieve them of that, shall we? Thank you. Very fuzzy butterfly, I'll take it. Pile of well-chewed bones, always useful. Whatever shiny around you, chances are it's useful, you want to grab it. Kifa! All right, let's see here. I'm just catching up with my my Texases to make sure that nobody actually, you know, needs me. All right, right on Ace. Got the hang of writing Palamutes already. <laughs> you have no idea. All right. By the way, let me know if either I'm too loud or the game's too loud. If life is too loud, you know it's too loud. TikTok. I'll age myself. I don't mind. But every time I open that program, I think, mm, too loud. <sighs> Normally, a pack of the Zuchi. All right, there's three of them. Go take them out for me. Why did they tease your hair? Like, hmm, what's this? Boink. Hi there, I know that we've just met. So there's like 14 different weapons in this game that you can use. I'm, uh, I've never really used the long sword that I have right now all that much, but a friend of mine does, and it does seem like one of, uh, you know, strategy and distinction and fanciness and being a giant weeb. Just as I expected from my stuff. Get off of me, dude. 
Open map, fast travel. Can I fast travel into the next section of the game? Alright. Let's talk. Great. Rumble and Flash. Okay, those are pretty charming names. This is the, the end of mission dance. Absolutely required by the guild. I don't make the rules. Aww. Aww. That's basically me throughout the entirety of playing this game. Just going, aww. It's so charming. You've got points. Quest is done. I see this loading screen in my dreams now. Well, Pascal, I see Tsushi's little quest is no match for you. Ha! I expect nothing less. What you learn today is the very essence of hunting. Wherever the hunt takes you, those lessons will always hold true. Now, he you know I should have some one-star quests ready for you. Get to it, and happy hunting. If you ever hear of any villager having trouble, I want you to lend him an ear. If you can help, lend him a hand, too. I know, it's all of a sudden and all, but don't worry, I got something nice and easy to get you used to it. I need you to bring me something to ease something. Think you can do that. Come back and see me when you're ready. Anything in particular? Oh, a well-done steak. Yeah, sure, have a, have a well-done steak. Yes, I completed your quest already. I have you one well-done steak. I'll tell you this much. If uh, a superior in your workplace ever just asks you to bring them a, a well-done steak, then you're working at the wrong place. But I'll give Fugan a pass here. Fail to take your means of protection seriously and you won't last long out in the field. You can imagine why. Well, we won't have to imagine for, for too long, my, my dear friend. How'd everything go with Master Tsushi's quest? Eh, it's fine. I had to hang out with Tsushi, which the less he talks, the better. The basics are, well, basic. But you gotta have a sturdy foundation before you can build, right? Take Bunny Dango, for example. Yamogi puts as much effort into selecting ingredients as she does preparing them. Anyway, I know you're not here to talk Dango. You're here to talk quests. And lucky for you, I've got one star quest ready to go. You know, questing is kind of like climbing a mountain. Keep completing them, and before you know it, you'll be at the top. And just like a mountain, there's more than one way to the top. Pick the quest right for you and forge your own path. But you're going to stay right here and listen to me bla blabber about Bunny Dango if you don't hurry up and pick a quest. <laughs> all right, uh, training quest. Back to basics, Bunny for ride. I done did all of that. Wait, do I get credit for these? Oh, a, a, a paltry 120 zenny. That's that's not even bus fare. Uh, an expedition tour. No. All right, what do you want me? Roly poly lanterns. Deliver eight fire lanterns. Fungal frustrations. Ask your doctor. Uh, unpious peons. Slay eight jagras. And help with maintenance. Slay eight izuchi. Let's go. Uh, let's go slay stuff. Yes, it would be my, my pleasure. And before we go on uh, any hunt, we always have ourselves a meal. Yamogi's fine. You know, I'm, I'm glad that uh, she is uh, a young entrepreneur, but we're going to eat here with Otemai the chef. Welcome, Pascal. If you're looking for grub at the hub, then you're looking for me, Otemai. My canteen's got the same menu as the tea shop, so you don't have to leave the hub to eat. As a matter of fact, I'm the one who taught our darling Yamogi the way of the Danko. So, you know both shops are first class. Make it a habit to eat before you go meow to hunt. I love it. With that in mind, we will now enjoy uh, the hub counter uh, meal. Hey, with points, I don't even know what I'm ordering at this point. Let's see. Uh, the Kumura. We'll do uh, Be Beautiful. And what's something else? I'm not even looking at what these do for you. 
polisher. Are you ready for this? The answer is no. If that is not enough motivation to go and purchase this, I don't know what I can do for you. Alright. I've been waiting for you. As you could have guessed, all gathering hub quests go through me. Please be aware, these quests are meant for a party of hunters. Quests will be rated at yada yada, so on, and such and so forth. I'm sure that in no time you'll be taking on high rank quests. At least, that is what Hinoa says. Let's see. Uh huh. Yeah. It's realistic because this is about the point where I, I, my eyes would kind of glaze over. Um, but I've already got a quest. No, thank you very much. Woo! Oh, hey, what's up? You ever heard about them great wire bug thingies? Well, they're pretty much wire bugs, but bigger. Except their wires are much stronger, meaning if you hop on one, they'll launch you way, way further than a regular old wire bug. The only catch is once you set them down in some jewel lilies, they ain't moving. And since they're so big, they're hard to steer. But once you place one down, they'll be zipping all over the place, and they'll be when, there when you come back too. Piqued your interest? Alright, here, some great wire bugs of your very own. Don't say I ain't never did nothing for you. Ain't. Never did anyways. Uh, try it out next time you're on a hunt and spot some jewel lilies. I'm telling you, it'll make the trekking part a breeze. Senior Hunter Hanenaga. It's funny because he's kind of a do nothing, but he does have some great wire bugs. Oh, 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 are you. Dang it. Okay. As you can see, this is like a little. little hot steam bath here. And it's got a little cohoot rubber ducky. Little rubber cohoot. Sometimes there's someone bathing in there, which may sound weird that I would be excited to see them, but it's a cat, so that makes it fine. Greetings and salutations. I'm Shirobe and I run the Buddy Plaza here. Welcome! Meow that you're a bona fide hunter, allow me to welcome you to the Buddy Plaza. Buddy Handler Iori will give you the rundown on all things Buddy. If you hire a Buddy, you'll get a trusty battle companion to aid in all your hunting endeavors. Feline Chief Kogarashi is a top cat when it comes to managing the Meow scenarios. You can count on any Buddies you have on standby to hunt for materials while you're hunting monsters this fairy goes to the training area. What? Just because you're a hunter now doesn't mean you can start slacking on training. And Rondine here is a trader from outside Kamuf. Every good hunter needs a stock of good items. No matter how obscure, she'll probably have what you're looking for. You'll find the buddy board here where you can manage your buddies. There, there are more like it all over the village. Maybe you've already seen one. If you hire any buddies from Iori, you can manage them here. Anyway, every day the buddies here work their tails off to get better and stronger. That's about all I've got for you. If you want to know more, you'll have to talk to everyone yourself. Also, I cannot stress how much I adore the music in this area. Let us know if you can hear the Buddy Plaza music well enough, because it's uh, required as far as I'm concerned. In fact... 
There we go. Raise it up a little bit. You know what? If, if it drowns me out, I think it's more important that you take in. Oh, such relaxing tunes. this a wee bit, and hopefully it doesn't overwhelm my talkings. Let's go over and train a little bit, because I want to get a better idea of this uh, sward that I'm using. Just notice a little palico in the background running with the targets. Hey. All right, so just gonna learn a couple, a uh, couple of combos here. Spear play combo. Alright, so attacking fills a little gauge in the upper left. And then let's see what this is all about. Okay, that's pretty cool. So part of the conceit of Monster Hunter is the fact that everything that you do attack-wise has to be very intentional, because it's going to take about two and a half years between when you press a button and when your attack completes. So, press, land. Anyway, let's go see what that does to soft monster bodies. And they're off. Those infernal Jagras keep messing with my visits to the Shrine Ruins. They're after the offerings I bring with me, those rude, blasphemous fiends. Send them running with their tails between their legs. Quoted devout feline. Ah, that's why they're impious peons. I get it. Time limit. 50 minutes. Gogurt, Slim Jims, acquired. Look at that. So yeah, even though your objective tends to be go and, and kill this thing, um, almost every trip out is going to be all about gathering as much stuff as possible. Even if you don't need it. It's just satisfying to, to pick things up and have the little twinkles and points come up. I've been collecting these shoot patches for almost the entire game. And I have no idea what they do to this day. But they feel good to get. Spider webs. Love it. Great. Very sticky web. Used to craft pitfall traps. Bug. Sparks when hit required to make shock traps and thunder ammo. Look at this. What a lovely place to spend an afternoon. Evening. Night, morning, all the all the above. Time to go fishing. All right, I can see the appeal of this giant anime sword. So this already is kind of the the gameplay loop uh, that that Monster Hunter promises. Which you find monsters, you hunt them, and then you carve them up. And eventually, you haven't seen this part yet. You turn them into clothes. Hats, shoes, pants, shirts. Everything a growing girl needs. Oh, 
Oh, here, why don't we do a bit of this? Come on, Pots. See, this feels right. All right, so we're looking for Jagras. They're kind of like very big lizards, and apparently they've been messing with our feline friends. Uh, I can't say that I'm going very directly to wherever they are, but if you look in the lower left right now, um, as I move forward, I'm starting to remove these little clouds from this map. I'm going to be coming back to the Shrine Ruins many a time over the course of our playtime, so I figure why not go ahead and make these grounds well known to me. I love these things. Oh my gosh. So as far as timelines go, uh, this sort of prehistoric dodo still exists. <laughs> they look so proud. Alright, we're going to take a picture. We're going to turn this into a bit of a, a Pokemon snap, if you will. Alright, come on. Big smile. They do move in herds. Ooh, can we get three? Maximum Professor Oak points? No, don't go away! Come here. Come here for art. Come on. Let's, let's, let's shoot something that David Attenborough would want to talk about. Vinny, if you want to get in the shot, that's perfectly okay. No, Vinny, it's okay. All right, fine. This is not monster hunting at all, but it does bring me joy, and that's all that's important. It's kind of what's wonderful about this game generally, is that you can spend your time doing much of anything, even if it's not, uh, you know, the major noun-verb agreement that's on the box. Just satisfying to press buttons on stuff, collect it, makes twinkle sounds. Right, Vinny? Vinny likes to blow stuff up. We're all having a good time here. Oh no, a dead end. Whatever could I do? I'll tell you, I'm gonna go up. I'm Spider Man. Oh, actually, it might be easier to go up that way. Come on. Just moving around is so satisfying in this. Let's -a go. Yes. <laughs> Love that. And anything you could normally do while running around, you can also do while riding on the back of a gigantic dog. Gathering honey, pruning herbs, mining outcrops, you name it. Do your taxes. It is really satisfying uncovering everything that this map has to offer. Your stamina cap depletes over time. Scarf down a steak or rations. Just like real life. Oh, well, I didn't mean for that big old dramatic uh, flare of the blade. Unless it looked cool, in which case, yes, I, I did mean to do that. Alright, so, let's go fight something. Because now I'm just having a good time for me. But does that make for good watchable content? I don't know. I don't know if I really care. Now, it may look like I'm getting distracted by picking up all these things, but they are ultimately all contributing to the act of hunting monsters. Like these. Hello. Come here. This is what I'm talking about as far as, like, needing to be very deliberate 
about when you choose to attack, because you could commit to a sword slash that is in the complete opposite direction. Alright. That is two of eight. Give me your hide. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. So on and so forth. These scales are famous for their vivid hue. Whoop, whoop. Oh, that would have looked so cool if I'd actually hit anything, huh? I'm not even supposed to be hunting these. Zuchi. But I lose nothing for it. Aha! Uh -huh. You. Time to go. Get out of town. Not big enough for both of us. So on and so forth. I can get used to this big ol' anime sword. Whoop! Nope. Come here. I'm fine. Hi. Most important part about being a hunter is using the whole Jagras. And by that, I mean carving off one piece of my choice and then leaving the rest of it to rot. Oh yeah, and such. All right. Now that I have extracted all of your blood, big money, big money, and we got a hide. I'll take it. Come on. Oh wait, no, that's not where I want to go. There's a secret cavern over here. It's not very secret, but uh, it does have a wonderful slide. Here we go. What a delight. Ah. Uh, oh, look. It was on track this whole time because there's more pests. Gonna snack. <laughs> Ow. I'm getting a little hungry myself. Alright. Time to go. Ah! Unacceptable. What was that? I have no idea how to use... Out of the 14 weapons, this is one of those that I just have not used, so... There's all kinds of things that I'll need to learn before I start to look really cool. Starting a stream today was kind of part of a, a little bit of a personal project. Um, which was generally getting more comfortable with streaming, but I also wanted to make some like custom assets, which is where this uh, graphic came from. Uh, as far as you know, where do I put my gameplay? Where do I put my little little portrait? Um, so I spent about an, an hour or two today putting that together, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just fun to you know get back into things like Photoshop and Illustrator and get a bit more acquainted with those. I also want to stop short of, you know, from the some of the live streams that I've seen, they can look so crowded. Um, and so I wouldn't necessarily want to work myself to a point where I have like all kinds of feeds and stuff blowing up all over the screen. It's not really, not really my aesthetic, but this idea of kind of a, almost a skeuomorphic 
monster huntery uh, minimal theme here I was, I was uh, pretty happy with. I think what I'm more interested in is seeing what kind of like custom animated transitions I can make between different shots. Um, so yeah, over time hopefully I'll do more of this and I'll start learning how to uh, put animations and stuff like uh, open broadcast software. And maybe down the road I'll learn how to offer interesting commentary, because this will probably just turn into me quietly playing Monster Hunter for hours at a time, which I already do, but, you know, why not record it and share it with the world, right? All right, so, great wire bugs. Here's one now. What do they do? This! Isn't that wonderful? They are pretty great, I'll give them that. Whoop! Those, uh colorful hummingbirds give you little boosts to your health and your stamina, the amount of damage you do, so it's very useful to run by and relieve them of their engorged state. You really can go just about anywhere in this. It is so freeing. For anybody who's played Breath of the Wild, it's not as big of a world overall, but as far as like how you can get around, it feels just as freeing. Um, you can be very expressive in the way that you move, in the way that you fight, dress. Oh, yeah. I could not have asked for that to go better. Oh, wow, that's dramatic. Alright. I'm gonna turn you into a hat. Great job, guys. I only just learned that you can tell your pets to, like, hold still, and then you can pet them. Does it spark joy? Yes. Yes, it does. Kuram Utera! I can't wait to put a hundred more hours into this character. How long have we been going for now? A little over an hour. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can take down one big monster, and I think that that'll be a good... good pausing point. Somebody wants to talk to me. Find them in Kamura Village. Okay. Use this here handy dandy. Someone wants to talk to me in my room. Muse for you, Meowster. Meowster Pascal, the Buddy Dojo is now available for your use, is it not? Though my capacity to assist you is far less impressive than the discipline and devotion you've shown your buddies, inspired by that very conduct of yours, I've arranged things such that you may send commands to the Dojo via myself. I may be but a lowly housekeeper, but I shall do my utmost to provide, per, per, ovide, yeah, provide, whatever. You support to the best of my abilities. Thanks. See you later, kitty gator. Hey, get a load of this happily. Well, now it's Pascal. What's up? Having any gear issues? No, eh, it's fine. Something, something about how to upgrade your armor. Yo, Ace! 
That's right. It's our dear friend Utsushi. My favorite pupil. You haven't taught me doo-doo. Alright. Great. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's have ourselves another meal. I don't even know what I'm picking. I'm just here for what follows. What a delight. two of these, this being my second one, and I'm pretty sure that'll end up giving me a an urgent quest, where I'll need to go kill something a little bit bigger. Respect to anyone who can gulp down boiling tea like that. <laughs> if you can gulp down boiling tea, then, uh, you know, you can take, uh, Dragon's flame to the face. It's one of the one of the first ways that they uh, they qualify you for for going on a hunt. What did I want to do? Why am I here? Why are we here? Just to suffer? No, nobody suffers here. It's kind of what's great about the Monster Hunter universe is that despite uh, you know there being peril, certainly everybody's here to have a good time. You know. Uh, at least from my memory, there's never, like, another, you know, humanoid character or part of the community that's conniving or antagonistic. And even the monsters aren't necessarily seen as evil. Um, they kind of go out of their way to say that, you know, most of it's about population control, which, you know, do, do with that what you will. But it's a far more positive vibe than your average video game with... Great big swords. That does not get old. And yeah, yeah, your dog just pops right out of the earth. People in the Monster Hunter uh, universe are somewhat flame proof. Yeah, it's an occupational requirement. Especially if you have armor with flame resistance. I barely even pay attention to, to that, all told. Alright, what was I even doing? Oh yeah, fire lanterns. That was, it's, it's, that was supposed to be doing a thing. I've actually never taken a look at what this shrine is over here. It's got puppies. And something at the top that I can't quite make out. Looks like a shroom worthy of respect. Uh, another great thing about these uh, palamutes, you can drift in them and then get a nitrous boost. I'm assuming it's nitrous. Scooby snacks? I don't know. I don't know what makes dogs do that. In my dog's case, it's uh, whenever 5 p.m. rolls around and uh, it's time to eat. Then she becomes more energetic and fast than I've ever seen. Speaking of which, it's 4.52, so it's only a matter of time before she gets her, her version of the zoomies. Oh, 
Hang on, real quick. Check these guys out. <laughs> Fart based nitrous boost. That's exactly it. Speaking of farts, uh, these guys are called Bombadges. I don't know much about them, except for the fact that they are very roly-poly and very happy to be. And also, farts. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. Fart darts. Aye. Dart dart by a fart. Aye. I think I think we got a good good groove going on here. Continue. Yeah, I'm just running into a wall here. Okay, no, I want you, little rock lizard. Give, give me the iron ore that you carry for for some reason. All right. So I'm looking for something called fire lanterns. Oops. And there are little green blips on my map that are telling me where they are. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were... Is that like a dabbing emote? Remind me to block that. Nah, just kidding. The uh, free speech, such and such and forth. Alright. Here we go. Delicious. Yeah, see I don't even have to kill anything on, on this particular trip. I'm just going out to going out to collect things to gather. Sleepy time herbs. My favorite kind. Ah, nice. It's to cover up the Palomute fart stink. <laughs> All right, emote unblocked. Yes. The only way to travel. think that it's up this hill. However, will we get up there? Well, through the magic of verticality. Oh no, a broken ladder. Whatever will we do? Not worry about it. All right. Is what I need even up here? Or did I just... Oh, hello. Yes, it is. But also, what have we here? A mite seed and a relic record. It's a message on an old sword, baby. Pick, pick, pick it up. It's a collectible. I don't know if that works quite as well. Works for me. Up. Uh, there you go. Legalize no fall damage. All video games. Take note. Wow, look at that. I'm a hero. I did it. The town is safe, thanks to me.
Let's go. Ah, Pascal, your mogi over in the tea shop's been looking for you. She seemed upset over something. Go and check on her, would you? Okay, bye. Oh yeah, uh, Kagero gets really oh, no. excited about the little love notes that you find that are ancient. Eh? It's an old message. A trace legacy of bygone eras most obscure. Ostensibly, the record contains someone's story, yet undiscovered, that makes it an invaluable item. For the longest time, perhaps influenced by my trade, I've sought such annals eh, to broaden my history or understanding of the world and, and reading. Uh, if you'd be so kind as to show me any others you come across, I'd gladly offer a token of thanks, small as it may be. I'd venture that these old messages are fragmented into smaller notes which lie in places remote and unaccustomed to human activity. I wish you luck in your hunt for them, and thank you in advance. Worst news ever! Pascal, have you heard? Have you heard the terrible news? This is a real emergency. Oh, I bit my tongue. Ow. Oh, right, the news. A great Azuchi is tearing up the shrine ruins. It's absolute carnage. Okay, slight exaggeration, but there really is a great Azuchi, and it's parked its stupid monster butt right on our main trade route. Please, you gotta get rid of it. If you don't, my supply of Dango ingredients won't get delivered. Well, now the stakes are high. Please. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. Okay. Hunting that great Azuchi is now an urgent quest that you can accept from Hinoa. Most happy. Oh, she, she also thinks this is real bad, because she has a personal stake in the Dango. Pascal, an urgent quest has just been issued. Urgent quests need to be taken care of ASAP, and if you don't, things can get bad, like real bad, and right now, things are looking grim. Yamogi ran over and told me that the Great Azuchi is blocking an important trade route near the Shrine Ruins. Yes. It's not any old trade route. It's the one merchants use to bring the ingredients for Bunny Dango. Oh no, we might actually run out of Bunny Dango. I feel faint. You've got to get rid of that monster. But be careful, Great Azuchi usually have a band of mini Azuchi in tow. They can gang up on you if you don't watch out. Okay, get out there and save our Dango! <clears throat> Beautiful. Oh, optional subquests. These are little extra things that you can do that will net you points. Alright. Urgent quest. Great Azuchi. Great pain. Hunt a Great Azuchi. Happily. Alright, speaking of which, let's let's eat the remaining dango that there is in all of Kamara. Because it's gonna go to a good cause. Uh, let's go with that and that. Looks good to me. detailed chewing animation I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, let's depart. This is our first real monster hunt. I wish we will hunt a proper monster. Wish us luck. Oh, 
That's a big yikes for me, boss. That's alright, we've got our Gogurt and our Slim Jim to protect us. Darazo! We're here. We're queer. We're ready to stoke fear. In, um... A great Azuchi, that's what it is. Alright, where are you at, you old brat? And your, your two buddies? You're just a bunch of bullies. Just collecting some nice buffin birds. A wyvern tear. Bitter tears wept by wyverns on certain occasions. Like when their tails are about to get sliced off. Whoa. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it spat on me. It was like chunky. Alright. You slash with the sword, and then you slash with the sword. I'm gonna try and slice off your tail here if you don't mind. Swing. Whoa! No, you don't. Feel good. Oh! I want to figure out how to do that cool thing where I sheathe it and then swing it about. Up a little gogurt here. There we go, now I'm feeling better. And I've got to resharpen my uh, blade here. This little whetstone. It's not meant to be suggestive. suggestive. Alright. Back at it. Ugh! Stop! Oh, really? Wow. Fine. Looks like the monster bailed. Time to chase after it. Izuchi, that swing their tail skillfully, may become the leader of the pack. Just like corporate America. Right. Tweedledee, Tweedledum. I'm here to kick your bum. Alright. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, missed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You thought you were going to do a thing when in fact you did nothing! Okay, I do feel cool with this big old sword. Woof!
exciting battle music. I can't get enough of it. up these broken parts of yours. Pots, come here. I'm gonna sharpen my weapon while I casually ride you around. I just want to talk. So also I want to pick up these parts. Yep. Nope. Oh, oh, oh beautiful. Alright, so now I see what's so useful about these bombardier cats, because it's just planted a bomb on there that each time I hit it, does a bunch of damage. What? No, wait, come back. Just take this opportunity to snack on a Slim Jim. Slap into a Slim Jim? Is that what it used to be? No reason to detonate those flies, just wanted to. To sleep. What does that mean? Okay, sleepy time now. Yay! We did it! We're heroes! Ow, stop. No, no, I, I need to carve these, please. Go home. Alright, thank you. And I thought they smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in so very much. It was wonderful to have you. Happy, happy Monster Hunters to everyone. And uh, yeah, I think that this is a good enough time as any to uh, sign off for the moment. And uh, maybe maybe we'll do this again sometime. It's been nice. Um, yeah, take care. <laughs>